Hey, what's up guys? Clue here, come back with a new video. Today's video, playing some more city skylines, um, back in our city of Springwood. Um, in between episodes, I have gone through a lot of our public transport here, and I found that we had a lot of buses on the same kind of line, uh, with no real reason. There wasn't enough passengers to have as, like, this one's got nine vehicles for 69 people. That's probably still even way too many. At least they're smaller buses and traffic's not too big here, so we aren't facing too much of an issue. Talking about it, I actually cannot... Oh, there's a bus there. Oh, wait, but that one turns there. I can't see where the buses go, so... I can't actually see one right now. So obviously, yeah, there you are. There's the first one I've seen. So they're not too big of an issue. Um, we can see that we do have a bit of a logistical issue with not enough glass coming in. Interestingly enough, we have glass here, but it's not coming into this place. Balanced. Maybe we... Maybe we're not producing enough glass. There's a few things I want to do this episode, so I'm not too worried about. Or glass... Again with the, st uh, the not moving this product around properly. It's pretty annoying when you have all the trucks in use but none of them go to the right place. Okay, there is glass there. I wonder if it's just we don't have anywhere to store our stuff right now. Like as you can see, we're storing metals here. And they're constantly moving around. Where are all their trucks going? Pretty much outbound. Oh, that's coming in. Apparently they have three trucks in use, but I can only see one. Okay, there's one there. Two. Okay, I can only see two of the three trucks that are meant to be in use. Oh, there's the other one. Okay. So, it looks like that, though, is sending them to the industrial steel plant, which makes sense. Uh, but, like, does it make sense for our ore to be struggling like it is? Okay, I can't tell if it's... Okay, I think they're facing onto this main road, which might be a part of the issue. It's a very big road for not a lot of traffic, to be honest. I thought there was going to be a lot more traffic on this road. Um, but I think we'll just have to deal with that in a moment. Uh, because I want to come down around... Uh, where was it? Down here. I've set up this little suburb here. And I want to build up some residential in here. The reason for that is we have good demand. We don't have a lot of close by residential for our industrial, our university and other industrial area. We have Mill Park, but still not too much. So I thought probably best to just um, build a bit around here. We already have a lot of the facilities, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. So I do believe that's kind of where the suburb ends. Yeah, about there. I just want to check with sand pollution. Yeah, alright. So, what we'll do is then something like... Oh, I, I don't know if I want it to join up here. That's one of my issues that I'm not too sure about. So, we'll just do this for now. I think we'll have it kind of squarish. Oh, grid, I mean. Something like that. Uh, I'll change this road here. And then we'll just kind of build off this. See, I can't do that there. It's too far. One bit higher. Not too far. 
far again. Perfect. Let's see, if I do this, it then creates a bit of traffic coming through this area, which I don't really want because we're going to get pretty bad traffic as it is. So the other thing I'm going to do is just leave that little bit out when I stop pausing. There we are. Auto save. Um, so what we could do is just something like this. Um, I don't think we'll need Old Town through this area just because looking at it, there won't be be any shortcuts I don't think unless that becomes a shortcut which if it does then we can just put Old Town on as a policy what I should have been doing is alternating these now I think about it um, something like that That's not what I wanted. There we are. The, I know they're short distance, but hopefully the traffic's not going to be too bad through here. It's just going to be a small suburban design. Um, we're not going to fill in that part. I think we will just put in... Um, Probably some residential through that area. Or well, not residential, commercial down this side. Um, just because we don't want them too close to the rest of the pe Like the noise pollution. Um, trying to remember if offices make too much noise. Not really. We could put some offices down through the middle strip here. But that'd look kind of out of place now thinking about it because we don't have any high-rises through here. Could do a high-rise band, but that, again, doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, we can put a bit of normal through there. And then... Just do that. We might have to put in a roundabout down here. I'm pretty aware of that being an issue. Just get rid of that one line and then this one as well. Do something like that. Um, the one line between them will mean that they won't build on this road. Uh, so we can get this to start to build up while I do the water through here uh, people will start complaining about power in a moment I'm sure unless they're kind of smart or they actually are that's nice to see unless someone Builds right there in a moment, which I don't think they will. They don't usually build on the corner. Um, so that should be okay. They now have power. They've got water. We'll just have to put in a few of the basic needs. So like a police station in here. Something like that. I don't know if we want a big ambulance or a small. Oh, that covers most of it, so we're alright with that. A bulldozing if I put it there. No idea what I bulldozed, but it's gone now, so hopefully it wasn't too important. Uh, we've got medical, and know we just need a fire. We probably want a big fire station. Oh, we've got one there. So we could just do with like a small one over here, I guess. Oh, it was just a normal store. That's what I demolished. I forgot that I put commercial on this side. So that should be alright. Um, we don't really need another one around there, I don't think. Fire hazard is pretty high in this area, though, so... We yeah might put one over there. And then with this, we'll just put in some pathways through between. Uh, so something... That's not a pathway, that's a fence. 
buttons here, just like that. Um, which means they can now walk to the train station, they can walk to football games, or actually not football, baseball or athletic matches. Um, apparently our team's doing quite okay, which is good to see. Um, I have been slowly expanding this area as well. We're getting there. Um, hopefully you can fill out most of that by the end of this episode, maybe next episode. Um, I'm just being... I've just been swapping between um, high density and low density, so it kind of builds a normal looking area, I feel. Um, we'll do that. And then maybe we put some offices in the back down here. We don't really just have offices, that's why I'm thinking. Because usually you'll have your airport and then offices near the airport so people, like your uh, international group, don't have to travel too far. You'd also have like factories kind of thing around there as well. So we'll just put this in. Um, looks like we're having a bit of a traffic issue here. Ah, it's not too bad. I wonder if it's just a basic, yeah. It looks like it's a roundabout issue that I've got. Get rid of that one. And then, just gotta check, but they're all giving way, yep. And then passing through. I don't want that passing through, don't want that passing through. I don't want that passing through. Causes more traffic if we let that happen. Uh, while it looks like it might be helping because we're allowing to pass straight into the intersection, it's better for them to stop because if they start passing through, they'll block other vehicles like that, as you can see. It does take a little bit of time to take effect. Wait, what? Why are they stopping so far back? That's really weird. I've never actually seen... Like how far they're stopping back. Alright. Um, it looks like a lot of these people are wanting to just leave this area. From what I can tell. Um, I want this one. Yeah, most of it's just going around and out. What we could do is the same kind of thing I did on another one, which was just a highway exit down here that goes uh, this might be a little bit harder Nope, that did not work. Wow, that's the most bumpy highway I've seen. What I'm just going to do is... Uh, I didn't want to bulldoze all of that, my bad. Now i got to do this again. from going weird shaped and then from like here I guess to about there and then straight slope I want on the ground straight slope yeah that looks better I probably should do this to the same this part here this 
makes a bit more sense if that's the case. Um, and then, yeah, same thing for here. Yeah, straighten that up. Yeah, it looks way better doing that. Okay. Uh, I probably have to flip. Yes, I do. So I did both of them the same way. Alright, flip that. And now look to try and make this connect nicely. Eh, I guess that works. I can have that on the ground. That is really weird looking. Yeah, I guess it works. Hopefully it will just provide a bit of, um, what's it called, a bit of lenience on the traffic here. Um, another thing I've got to do is, because it's like this, we want that lane to not go straight anymore, and, oh, both these lanes don't turn, oh no, that one does, okay, thought so. I want to go straight. Hopefully that then makes a bit of sense. Oh, and pass through should be on, but I think they'll pretty much do it anyways. Um, as you can see, a lot of the traffic's now just pushing straight through this intersection and around, hopefully clearing up a lot of the traffic around here. I'm leaning closer and closer to adding a roundabout here. Uh, and as much as I don't want to, because on a hill, it's gonna look really bad. It's probably becoming a necessity as this area grows. Um, yeah, I can't really work out how I'd make that fit into the rest of the area. I think we're just going to leave that. Uh, we don't really have industrial demand right now anyways, so not too big of a deal. Control A, get rid of the um, anarchy. Alright, so you can see a lot of our areas building up slowly. We do need education. That's the other thing, because it's going to be near a high, uh, pretty highly educated area. So, I uh, hate that the schools have such small zoning. It's like I'm going to have to put a school here, I guess, and then school there. And then a high school on this part, I guess, as well. Um, is there any policies that would be helpful for this area? Not really. No. Um, the other thing that we should do while we're at it is... I can't remember. Uh, da 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 da. Oh cemeteries or crematoriums like that and then we'll just put a cemetery over here on that corner um is there any of these that would probably fit I guess like a area gym gym and uh, sports hall. They're pretty common to have around the area. Uh, I don't really want to have to branch power like this. I can do that. That's fine. That's not too hard. It's just this one here. I don't want to have to branch across because I'm destroying uh, zoning. So I guess that one's just going to sit without power for now. Uh, how many people? There's a few people living in this area. It's a nice little uh, area. Not many people are in this train station, so that's good. 153 at this stop, though. So we are actually seeing quite a bit of um, growth for the high-speed rail line, which is nice to see. Didn't expect that to really grow. Um, people are using that. People are using... Kind of using that. It's not too bad. Whoa, what's that power? Ooh, airport. Didn't mean to do that. 
Just jump across from here to there. And oh, I side as well. No need for that to be there. That probably doesn't even need to be there either. Alright, so our airport again has power. That would have been pretty annoying to go to an airport that has no power. Um, Check that everything's making sense here. Pass-throughs are all correct. Giveaways, uh, yep, correct. I don't think anything else really needs to be set up through here. So you can see a lot of the traffic's clearing up, which is good. Um, I kind of think that this should be just one lane from here. It's very asymmetrical road that I could use. Yeah, this one. Just do something like that. Doesn't really remove the amount of cars we had. How many people are just coming into here? There's a few really. Around about maybe just Alright. What's the traffic like through here? Oh crap, I need to make sure I do this again, otherwise we're going to have traffic issues. Um, okay, yep. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, checking which way these guys are going. A lot of it's going through there. Is it using it as a bypass? Mm, kind of. Is it? Comes through here, down here, across. Mm. A bit. What I'll do. Uh, none of the main roads are on here, are there? No. Okay, so it's city planning and Old Town. Just make sure uh, only residents and businesses can use the area for motor vehicles. Uh, ban other motor traffic, yes. We don't want uh, too many people using this as a bypass. I don't think that covers this road, hopefully. No, oh, he blocked off that one because that's meant to be a priority road. Or at least our main thoroughfare. Okay, the traffic lights are clearing up. So we'll come back to it, I think. Okay, looking at this now, I think it's traffic light. Uh, not traffic lights, roundabout time. It probably has to be quite a big one as well because it's a lot of traffic through here. Um, see, it's going to look horrible, I feel. We'll have to move that bus stop. Is there any other bus stops through here? No, okay. And then we'll have to do pathways and stuff like that. Alright, this probably looks absolutely disgusting. That one doesn't look too bad. That one's ridiculously steep. That one's fine, and that's atrocious. Alright, next up, before we do too much, is... Drag that up there. Just because we don't want them too close to um other bus stops. But uh, uh, to an intersection, it will cause a lot of issues if we do. Um, see, that's a very steep... Okay, I do need to fix this, that's for sure. I think what we need to do, uh, which road was that? That's 
three lane, isn't it? Four lane with buses. Okay, it's that one. Yep. I don't want the parallel tool. It's actually pretty bad. It doesn't do what I need it to do. Alright. Wait, is that not the right... Oh. Is that the right one? No. It's this one, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, um... If I go like that, doesn't work. If I do... Something like... that while it's still steep it actually looks a lot better and then we'll just have to do the same kind of thing just like that I guess yeah, I'd say so Looks a lot better like that as well. Although it's still very steep, it at least makes a bit more sense. We've just caused a bit of zoning issues. Although we didn't want a lot of zoning through here. Just because you don't want um, zoning near a roundabout. There's going to be a lot of traffic that's going to be pushing through here. Alright, set that up. Pass through rules, yes, 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 and yes. I think that's mostly correct. Um, I may have to, no, I don't have to fix that up again. Alright, what bus line's that? Red. Eden Heights. Uh, this is probably the busiest bus line in the game that I have. I think we just, yeah, we need more. See, it shouldn't be causing a lot of issue, but because um, we've got random cars just using our bus lines, like, they shouldn't be able to use that. They shouldn't be on it. The only people that should be able to use it is... Um, Medical, like as in your emergency services. I do remember that if I go to uh, road conditions, has a good impact on speed, realistic speeds. I don't really understand reckless driving. Buses uh, may ignore lane arrows, no. Um, oh, enable, yeah, restrictions, ban private vehicles and trucks on bus lanes. I think that's what we should have. We don't want that, and heavy vehicles prefer outer lanes on highways. So I think that one's good. And then now if we go through here, have a look, yeah. So hopefully that would mean that we don't have too big of issues with... It's like, yeah, these guys are now merging out of this lane. Emergency services there. Yeah, hopefully it just means that we have buses then flowing through the correct area. Although, in saying that, he isn't... Oh, because he doesn't want to be in that lane when then they're doing that for merging. I want this. There we are. Don't want that lane to merge. Don't want that lane. Don't want that one want that to be just a pass through I don't think roundabouts usually emerge on but it helps with the game for some reason to flow better so as you can see this bus is coming in and it was pretty much already full so 
How's we have metro around this area, I believe, or oh, maybe this area doesn't actually have no, this area misses the metro, which is probably why. Looking at this one, if we go to the 470, that's high, that makes sense. Uh, 357, yeah, there you are. Is it just we don't have enough? Bus, yeah, we really don't have enough buses. Line details. We have a lot of buses, but they're just... They're just full. <laughs> we have way too many people trying to want to take these. I'm just going to add a bunch of them. We'll come back and see if traffic's that big of an issue later. Oh... A lot of these are school students that are just coming, like, wanting to go home kind of thing. I can see in the distance there's a power issue. It's a bit too low. Alright, that's alright. Alright, what's this power issue? Ah, oh, it's this one. Alright, now that someone else has been silly enough to build there, I guess I have to. So there's power there. It's annoying because I want people to build there, but they're not going to right now. Commercial. Where do we want some more commercial in the city? Because you can see we do have a bit of a demand coming again. I don't think these guys have any commercial around. No, they don't. So what we could do is just... Um, Put in something as simple as just a little commercial area in here. Um, probably want to pause this. Something like that and then we'll just put out from here. like simple little designs like that it's not going to be the most efficient thing but hopefully just aids the situation of not enough commercial that I think because then it's another little connection um, looking at that though they might start using this as like a bypass so zone all this there's no main roads in it uh, it's a bit there just clean that up a bit yeah I can see people using this as a pass through so we go down to city planning and put on old town Weirdly enough, we didn't get that little part. Alright. Alright. And hopefully that then means... Uh, power. I just remembered. If we go like this to there, it makes a bit more sense. And then this to there. There we are. Let that run for a moment. Power might drop out for a second, but it should be all back in a moment. Alright, there we are. Is that just a normal post office, recycling centre, police station, police uh, sorting centre? I'm just trying to see how big of a deal is. Okay, I think we need more post offices. I didn't realise that everything wanted post offices. Uh, we could probably do that next episode because 
I would assume we're probably getting close to the 30 minute mark. Even though these are like 40 minute episodes usually. Again. It was originally meant to be a 30 minute episode. Or a 30 minute series kind of thing. There we are. Um, a auto save. Yep, cool. I love our uh, airstrip. It's really dodgy. But hopefully, oh, a bit of water. Just something like this. Noise pollution, hey? Is that just based off that sorting center? Because we probably want to move the sorting center anyways. Uh, noise, yeah, bit, not too much though, a lot of it's just the airport, ah, uh, they'll be alright, I think we have medical services around here, yeah, right next to them anyways, yeah, um, no death care though, which is a bit of a worry, just put one there, um, put a community pool down, I know these guys are meant to be the poor ones, but yeah, it'll be alright to put a community pool in there. Alright, so that's good now. And then we've got fire and we've got police. Yes. Alright, cool. Um, what else? Really, we're kind of hitting a a bit of a bit of a wall right now. Um, traffic's how's that going? It's 65%. I'd love to see it closer to 70. But right now, not really happening. How's this going now? Still ridiculous. If I see a bus in a little bit. There we are. They're doubling up now. Okay. Line details. Again, they're still really, really full. I think they just need to find their um, spacing right now. Because they should be getting debunched as they run, but maybe stations are a bit too close to each other. Um, it's like, what? The, how's that's one stop, and then I think stop four is then ages away. Oh, actually, another thing: pathways between this, because that's going to create more traffic. Page up to nine. That doesn't make a lot of sense. I want it on the road, but it's not going to connect, it seems. Something like that, I guess. Okay, I've no idea what just happened there. actually really really hard I guess we just do that and it'll work yeah looks like it all right and then across across
I'm pretty aware that I have to change up a few things around here. And then just all the way down if we can. Something like that. And then... So we have to change this road a bit, which probably means we have to move these up a bit. Because what we're going to have to do is... Oh, oh. Straight slope on the ground. Just straight in like that. Yeah. Didn't change the shape of anything, which is good. And then we just continue these pathways. Draw A. Just force that in. Yeah, there you are. And this one as well. Uh, road guidelines. What the heck happened to this one? There we are. No idea how those cars are staying, but who really minds? Um, and then I just want to change this, so no crossing, no crossing crossing and no crossing although they shouldn't really cross because there's nothing there to cross to and hopefully that just provides another way of them being able to just push their traffic around uh, that looks so ugly but I guess that's just what happens with this right now fix this one and then we should be all right yeah it looks okay now it's still pretty average but it should help out um so really a need no there's no need for that walkway to be there there's nothing on this road for them to walk to um so yeah uh quickly try that's what i want actually is there anyone saying anything smoke detector New study, uh, hotels, um, matches, no, nothing really, which is good. No one's complaining about anything, which is mainly what I was checking for. Park and leisure, well, that's what we need, parks over here. if this does anything really I know I'm just adding the same park but they don't seem to notice put some carousels in yeah we're good now I don't really know why industrial actually needs any parks which has always been the confusion to me I understand why these guys need parks so I'll do that Sure, I'll put one there as well. Yeah, these guys need parks as well. Which I'll just put... One there. Then just little, like... Parks like this, if I can just... Yeah, bulldoze... Only try, try and only bulldoze one building if I can. Yeah, stuff like that. Another one here. Hotels. Uh, 
helped and one like that. Yeah. What can I probably want a carousel on this one? So just to do that then. Auto save. Hopefully that clears that little bit up. Yeah, good enough. Alright. I think this is okay now. It's not perfect, but it's better than what it was. Just do that one. Alright, park should be okay now, so that's alright. And... This place is actually growing quite nicely. Traffic is not too bad. Traffic's not bad there, not bad there either. Doesn't look like there's really any issue with traffic flowing through either. Oh, another year completed. Prestigious still, prestigious, cool. Haven't dropped at all. I don't think that it's actually a possibility anymore to drop. Looking at this, it doesn't have, as long as I guess as long as it stays higher than that, which it pretty much always will, we should be okay. Um, once we get rid of all of our research grants and we can drop our uh, cost of staff members. And yeah, I think we'll call the video here then. Um, so, did a little bit around, um, did a bit off camera as well, but mainly just trying to ease some traffic around here. Because it is, it is getting a pretty bad in certain areas. Like, looking at this, this area is actually cleared up quite well now. It's not too bad. It's a little hard to do traffic around here just because of how uh, hilly it is. So roundabouts don't look the nicest. Like, that looks pretty disgusting. Um, might just even do that. Yeah, something like that. But yeah, you can see it doesn't look too nice. Yeah. I'll move that one up there. Okay, it looks a little bit better now. But still very bumpy on the way down. I didn't straight slope it like I should have. Um, so traffic's not bad there. Traffic's... The issue is around this area, like that's backed up again, as it always has been. I'm not too sure as to how to fix that now, but 66% is pretty good for what, 120,000 people. Uh, this is still very bad as well. Uh, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know what else I'm meant to do with this area other than just try to decentralize a bit that's what I'm doing I'm pushing out a lot of my traffic to other areas that that's kind of the idea is to decentralize and not have a CBD as much looks like we did get a fire around here because um, you can see the burning but it's not too bad I think next episode we do need to look at a transport of goods because it doesn't seem like we're getting any like of our glass products coming in. So looking at this, yeah, we've got 20%, zero trucks in our place. There's meant to be a truck coming out of here soon. Um, wait a little bit, see if he comes. Maybe it's on the next train. Whereabouts is this train? How far back is he? Jeez, okay. Uh, there he is. Out of curiosity, I just want to follow this and see if we do get um, any slowdown points or anything. Like, as in, is there any point where the trains don't get to the point or stop weirdly? Basically looking for traffic on the lines. 
because I wouldn't be surprised here, like here, unless he's stopping at this cargo station. Um, no, just straight pass through. So what we should be looking at is putting some pass throughs into this area. With the amount of stations we have, probably for the best. And then finally, this is coming through now. Only 53% full, which is a little frustrating, because really it should be more. But it doesn't slow down too much, which is good to see. Um, is this still looking pretty low? Yeah, so when's this truck coming in? Alright, here's a bunch of the trucks that we've been waiting for. I wonder if they're getting just stuck in traffic a bit. Is more so what's happening. Like they do stop here, which doesn't isn't too bad. It clears up fast enough that it means most of it will push through. Um, and then it's filling up now. Hopefully, meaning that they'll just uh, reduce the amount of like it gets a glass, and hopefully, it gets pushed into our factories. Because that, that is what we're looking for here. It's not even close to half full. Alright, there's another truck coming in. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's very slow for our traffic to... Like our trucks to get between point A and point B. It's probably another one coming here. I would assume. No. It doesn't look like it. Alright, so has this then got it has got glass now. So I think we just have a glass production and it's such a long distance between the two places that we're having a bit of an issue with getting our glass here. Um apparently not enough workers, which it's kinda interesting to see. With the amount of people here, I would have thought we had enough workers. Not enough educated workers. In saying that, though, all our educated workers are here. So. Oh, not enough high, well educated. We don't have a university here. Oh, not a university. A, don't have a university. We do have a high school, though. And do have elementary school for those that choose to go. Okay, I don't really know. Maybe that will sort itself over time, but. It is a very low population area. Not enough workers here. Maybe we do need to build up a bit around here then. Because like, how many people live in this district? Um, only 1,800. And I'm assuming this is requiring a bit more. So we could always build up. Uh, what's pollution like around here? It's pretty good because we do have the Eden Project. As well as noise level. Yeah, pretty good as well. So... We can always build a bit more around here. We probably want to for these people. Or for those industries, I mean. Um, but yeah, we're, we're slowly growing um, still. I'd like to see if we could get the city to about 200,000, which would just be actually mental because the amount of traffic and cars going around might cause a few issues for my computer. Uh, even though it's decent, it's probably still going to have a few issues. Water issues. There we are. Alright, what's what are these? These are just little accounting areas, yeah. Okay. It's good though that we're getting a bit of offices built around here. Are these having a lot of people? Two hundred. There's only thirteen going out though. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna call the video here. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you didn't more than dislike button, if you catch any more of my content, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.